the question is bisecting angle technique is based upon okay so what exactly happens in the bisecting angle technique is there are primarily two techniques that you use for taking x rays that one is the bisecting angle technique and the other one is the paralleling technique in paralleling technique your film is supposed to be completely parallel to the long axis of the tooth so what a angulation your tooth is in the film is supposed to be placed exactly parallel to it and the rays of the x rays would pass through the tooth and will go on to the film okay so if this was my tooth see if this is the long axis of the tooth in the bisecting angle it would be somewhere like this and the x ray would pass parallel perpendicular to the tooth as well as the uh, film okay now the bisecting angle is a little different what exactly happens in the bisecting angle technique is my i have the long axis of the tooth as you can see over here my x ray film is going to be placed at an angle to the long axis now this angle how is it going to happen is my long axis of the tooth and the x ray film is going to form an imaginary triangle now the x ray which is there those rays are going to be perpendicular to a line or a, a line which is going to divide this triangle into two equally symmetrical triangles this is what is called as the rule of isometry so what exactly happens is in this situation the advantage is that the film is as close as possible to the tooth structure and your your x ray are perpendicular to the i imaginary line but not to the film now the disadvantage of this is that since it is perpendicular to the imaginary line and not to the tooth or to the uh, x ray film the image distortion is extremely high in the uh, bisecting angle technique just to recap you have the long axis of the tooth you have the film i have an imaginary line which is going to be dividing my tooth my triangle into two equal triangles and these triangles are going to be symmetrical to each other this is what is called as a rule of isometry based on which the bisecting angle technique is developed the slob rule is what is called as a same side lingual and opposite side buckle where you also it is called as the tube shift technique okay this is used for object localization as in to know whether the location of where the lo exact location of the object is going to be based on that you have this technique or this rule okay